Cauda equina syndrome is a rare but serious condition that requires prompt recognition and intervention. Case presentation. A 51-year-old man presented to the emergency department with acute onset lower back pain following a gym session. The patient reported weakness in the lower extremities and described pain and numbness radiating down both legs, more pronounced on the right side. He was unable to walk on his heels and had a large palpable mass below the umbilicus, which was identified as a distended urinary bladder. During the rectal examination, there was an absence of active or passive anal tone. The symptoms did not improve after receiving parenteral diclofenac. The clinical presentation suggests cauda equina syndrome. This condition occurs when the nerve roots of the cauda equina are compressed, often due to a herniated intervertebral disc. The most common level of disc herniation associated with this condition is the fourth and fifth lumbar vertebrae, which can lead to radiculopathy of the fifth lumbar nerve root. Symptoms such as foot drop, numbness in the anterior leg and dorsum of the feet, and urinary retention are indicative of this diagnosis. To confirm the presence of cauda equina syndrome, imaging studies are essential. Magnetic resonance imaging of the lumbar spine is considered the gold standard for diagnosing this condition. In this case, the magnetic resonance imaging revealed compression of the cauda equina at the fourth and fifth lumbar vertebrae with loss of cerebrospinal fluid signal surrounding the nerve roots. Sagittal and axial T2 weighted images are particularly useful for identifying these abnormalities. If trauma or bony fractures are suspected, a non-contrast CT scan should be performed. This modality provides rapid results, typically within seconds to minutes, compared to the 30 to 60 minutes required for magnetic resonance imaging. Additional considerations. In some cases, Extending imaging to include the thoracic and cervical spine, as well as the brain, may be necessary to rule out higher-level lesions, especially if clinical findings do not fully align with the expected presentation. Immediate management. Cauda equina syndrome is a neurosurgical emergency. The primary goal is to prevent irreversible loss of bowel and bladder function, as well as motor function in the lower extremities. Early surgical decompression is often required. Key steps include performing a rectal examination to assess for saddle anesthesia and anal tone, which is vital for confirming the diagnosis. A post-void bladder scan is an objective measure that helps diagnose urinary retention, which is present in many cases of cauda equina syndrome. The duration and onset of symptoms play a significant role in determining prognosis. For example, a foot drop developing over the last 24 hours is more likely to improve with urgent decompression. Chronic symptoms, such as bowel incontinence lasting several weeks, may still warrant surgery to prevent further neurological deterioration. Differential diagnosis. Several conditions may mimic cauda equina syndrome, including stroke, vascular claudication, deep venous thrombosis, muscle cramps, and peripheral neuropathy. A thorough history and physical examination are critical for distinguishing cauda equina syndrome from these other pathologies. Key takeaways. History and examination are fundamental in suspecting cauda equina syndrome. A detailed clinical assessment, including a rectal exam, is necessary. Magnetic resonance imaging of the lumbar spine is the preferred diagnostic tool with consideration given to extending imaging to the thoracic and cervical spine or brain if needed. Early surgical intervention is associated with better outcomes, particularly for symptoms developing within 24 hours. Preoperative workup should include blood tests to anticipate and address potential complications. By maintaining a high index of suspicion and acting promptly, Healthcare providers can significantly improve outcomes for patients with cauda equina syndrome. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.